Welcome back and in this lesson we're going to be using the function digital read to read the value of a digital pin. Now if you did the lesson on digital write you'll remember that we were able to turn a pin from a value of low which was not zero volts and then make it go high which was five volts and then switch it back again. So you would think that digital read would be as easy as checking the voltage on the pin and in many ways it is. It's a case of you know either a one or zero is going to be uh, received high or a low. However as we'll see in this lesson there are a few problems and one of the problems is with floating values from the ways that some of these pins work and the way that there is often interference. Uh, to deal with that problem we're going to learn to use a pull down resistor circuit and we're also going to learn to use the Arduino's built in pull up resistor to cure those problems. So that's the aim of the lesson. Let's get on with it and get into the IDE. Right, the IDE started and I've already loaded the sketch. It is a very, very simple sketch, so I'll quickly run through it. Uh, we're going to be using pin 8. That's the pin we're going to be reading from. So we've declared a constant integer. So that is an integer where the value cannot be changed throughout the program because we never want that pin number to change. We've started the serial uh, port and then what we've done is it, we've got a pin mode here where the read pin, so what we're saying is the pin mode for pin 8, which is our read pin, we want this to be an input and this means that the Arduino is expecting to be reading from the pin rather than to be sending values to the pin. And then if we come down to the loop, we've got a local variable. Um, if you don't know what they are, check out uh, lesson 10 of the C++ course. So we've got a local variable called read value. And this read value is going to be equal to the value that we digitally read from the read pin and it'll give there's only two values it's going to give it'll either give a one which means the pin is high basically it's five volts although it can be slightly lower than that or it can give a zero which equals low or no volts then the sketch waits for 0.1 of a second 100 milliseconds and then it runs it round again so basically this sketch is going to read the value of the pin every 0.1 seconds. Now if you look up on the right hand side here I've already got the script running and as you can see I've got a line of zeros and for this example there's no circuit diagram there's no circuit at all I just want you to load this sketch onto your Arduino and you would think that it would be very very simple that if, as the Arduino is not connected to anything the value will always be zero. You're in for a shock. What I want you to do is while the sketch is running I just want you to put your hand near to your Arduino. So I'm moving my hand over and you notice the value changes. Now I hadn't even touched my Arduino I've just put my hand near and basically I've got the power. So as I've come near, I am causing some interference on the Arduino. Now sometimes, if you were to change the value of delay here down at the bottom, sometimes if you make that a very fast delay, go down to 10 uh, instead of 100, sometimes you'll actually see these values here changing without you even going near it. And the problem is that the pin is experiencing interference sometimes from the Arduino itself sometimes from components that might be nearby uh, electromagnetic interference if you're putting your hand nearby it could be capacitance 
If you ever use a touchscreen phone, those phones can read a capacitive value from your fingers. Don't worry about what it basically means, but it can sense you. So uh, as you can see just now, my as the set of ones went by. I didn't even go near my Arduino. So as I put my hand near again, I'm about two, three inches away, and all of a sudden I'm getting values. So this is an issue that we face with Arduinos and in fact all microprocessors have this problem it is an electrical problem and so there is a solution to this and what we have to do is either force the pin to be high or force the pin to be low and what we're going to look at first is forcing the pin to be low and that's done by what is called a pull down resistor so here's a, um, a circuit diagram. This is on the Digital Town website. Uh, if you click on the link, it'll give you all the sample code for this lesson, as well as the circuit diagrams. And I've done two circuit diagrams here. Some of you may have a sensor shield fitted on top of your Arduino. Others may be just connecting directly to the Arduino. So the circuit is quite simple. We've got plus five volts, the red wire, comes to one side of the switch and then on the other side of the switch we've got a wire that goes to pin 8 which is the pin that we're going to read from and then you'll notice there is a resistor here that goes to ground now on this diagram for those who can read the value it's a 330 ohm resistor it does actually work in the circuit but normally you would use a value of between 1k and 10k um, and a lot of people say 4.7k ohms is the resistor to use. Who am I to argue I'm not an electrical genius but that's how the circuit basically works. So what this does is when the button's not pushed pin 8 is connected through this resistor down to ground. So what that does is it forces the value of the pin to be zero. Then when we press the button, we get a connection from pin 8 through the switch up to 5 volts and the pin then gets taken high. So going back to our original sketch, I've now connected up my, the circuit as in the picture and now if I move my hand around the Arduino nothing however if I press the button there we go I've got a value of 1 if I release the button a value of 0 but as you can see because the pin is tied down no matter what I do what wires I touch doesn't matter at all the pin is held low until I press the button then the pin goes high and that basically is an example of how to use digital write. Now what I'm going to do now is we're going to bring up another example and this time we're going to use a pull up resistor. So in this example we've used a pull down resistor and that was because the uh, pin was held to ground so in this next example, we'll use a pull-up resistor. So before we start to look at the code, just a quick change of circuit, just so you can see what's happened. You'll notice now that I've got a wire that comes from pin 8, goes to one side of the switch, and out of the other side of the switch, it goes to ground. You'll see that there is no other components added. So you might be wondering, well, where on earth's the pull-up resistor? Well, in this next example, we're going to use a pull-up resistor that is actually built into our Arduino. So uh, I'm just going to swap over to the IDE screen and I'll show you how it's done. So this is the second example sketch on the, uh, the lesson page on the Digital Town site. Again, if we go through it from top to bottom, it's basically the same. We're using the same pin. The big difference is how we declare our pin mode. Now you'll notice on the last sketch, we just used the word input. 
On this sketch we're using the word input underscore pull up and what this tells the Arduino is that we want to read from this pin from pin 8 and so therefore it's an input but we also want to use the Arduino's built-in pull-up resistor so we don't have to add an external resistor which is why on the circuit diagram there's nothing added just the wires to and from the switch so this time again we're going to read the value just as before digital read the read pin but if you notice I've already loaded the sketch and the value that you're seeing here is 1 and I haven't pressed the button yet. Now if I press the switch notice the value goes to 0 and so this is the difference between a pull up and a pull down resistor. If you use a pull down resistor the default value will be 0 and when you press the button the value will go to 1 if you're using a built-in uh, pull-up resistor, and we could use an external pull-up resistor, but I just thought I'd do it this way just to show you that there is a built-in function available in the Arduino. But if we use the pull-up resistor, the default value is always 1, and when I press the pin, it goes to 0. Now, one little bit of good news is that if you are connecting your Arduino to some kind of module that you've bought usually the manufacturers have put the pull up or pull down resistor usually a pull down resistor will have been fitted automatically the reason it becomes an issue with switches is of course switches are just a switch and so they haven't got anything built into them but most of the time when you're adding a module of some kind it will have already had the pull up or pull down resistor fitted to it and you don't have to worry about that problem but it's important to understand that because at some point you're always going to use a switch or some kind of button in your circuit so that is basically how this very very simple um, function digital read is used it's just reading the value of the pin is it high is it low and that's basically the end of it so in this very short lesson we've seen how to use digital read to read the value of a pin we've seen the problems of floating values how inter external interference and even interference on our own circuits can cause the value to float and not give the value that we expected when even when the button isn't pressed um, we've seen how to use a pull down resistor to hold the value low until the that button is pressed and it goes high and we've also seen how to use the Arduino's built in pull up resistor to hold the value high until the button is pressed and the value goes low. So I hope that's been useful to you and again if it has been useful click the like and subscribe buttons if you've got time. Thanks for watching.